Spaceballs was on. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. If you say Spaceballs makes you mad, I'm going to walk out of here. I fucking hate Spaceballs. You do? And I tweeted it last night. Look, maybe you got a different fucking recollection of that piece of shit movie. <laughs> It's so bad. And I didn't realize, I didn't have a revelation last night that it was bad. <clears throat> I've known it's been bad for years. And I've had to listen to people crow about that shit movie for years and years and quote it. It's not a quotable movie. It's a terrible fucking movie. Not funny. It's embarrassingly bad. Where you watch no, it, it and I'm not. embarrassed. For, dude, I put it in the same category. Caddyshack 2. Oh, stop it's it. Caddyshack it's Caddyshack 2 you bad. Stop it. Yes, no, it it's is. not. It's not funny in the least. You're just saying this to, to start a fight, so no, we get I we swear. get off to a good start here today. Do, are you you know why? <laughs> Look at my Twitter, you will see that I was lambasting this movie last night. There, d now I, I, it's a fast this is a fascinating subject matter. It because is. because I love talking about movies that people say are classics that uh -huh. stink. That suck. But I don't agree with you about Spaceballs. Now, how do you not? Please, enlighten me on why this is a good movie. Here's the thing with Spaceballs, in my opinion. This is my theory uh -huh. on Spaceballs. Is that is... That is right around the time when Mel Brooks fell off. Mm -hmm. That was one movie before Life Stinks. Yeah. And everybody thinks that... Or no, that was one movie before Robin Hood, Men in Tight, or like I can't remember what one of those Same two came man. after. But the point is, is that everybody either thinks that the movie after Spaceballs was his first bad movie, or that Spaceballs was, and I think it's about when you were born. I was eleven or twelve when I saw Spaceballs, so All it's right. got to you know. Well, that probably would explain it then, because. Uh, only a child, only a dim-witted <laughs> child, would would enjoy this movie. Uh, here's here's a prime example. I'll give you I'll I'll give you some quotes from the movie. Yeah. Uh, um, um, jam the radar. Get and then they gotta say it like three more times. We're jamming. Get it? The radar. It the, it's so. They're not even subtle about their dumb jokes. The jokes are horrible. But even if if they presented it better, it might not be as bad. They're so... Calm the desert! Did you hear me, everyone? I, I said, get this, calm the desert. Oh, look, they got calms. It's not funny. But there's funny parts in it. Don't, you're no, picking there the isn't. two worst jokes in the movie. It's funny when Those he goes... Those are the ones everyone quotes! It's, well, then you're hanging out with the wrong people. Well, you're okay. hanging out with the... Today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Listen, Joe. you can't. You're, you're calling. It, it's funny when he goes. We can't stop. If we stop, it'll be too dangerous. That part's funny. See, Travis just laughed at that. Oh, Joe, uh, trust me. You you have you have two people in this room that that completely agree with you. Thank you. you thank you. Uh, no nobody. Aside from Anthony is thinking that Spaceballs is what? not funny. It's funny when I he goes... people hate it! This is the same guy who enjoyed the reboot of The Three Stooges. I oh. just said... Oh, and Bo! Oh! <laughs> uh -oh. I said Thank it wasn't you for as, bringing that up! I said it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. You and it wasn't. motherfucker! Are you, I bought that on blind faith <laughs> because you... What the fuck you buy things for? <laughs> because you... Yeah. And uh, the guy that produces, uh, what's his name, that produces uh, 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 Imus in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, you both said it was f funny, so I bought the fucking thing on Amazon because I wanted to see it. What happened? It stinks! It's <laughs> well, fucking it's no terrible! Space balls. It isn't! It's oh, worse! God. It's, it, it stinks! You don't think... That as just a fucking knockoff of the Three Stooges, it wasn't that bad. I think if they were, if it was like an SNL sketch, mm -hmm. and they were like, "We're gonna do a Three Stooges sketch," I'd be like, oh, "They did it. That was pretty well, funny." Well, that already is better than oh, fucking Spaceballs. Why don't we talk about? Why don't we talk about the fucking part in the Three Stooges where they have the sentimental scenes between them oh, they were terrible. to show that right. Mo actually loves them and has feelings? Go terrible. Fuck yourself. You are right. I think that was awful. I didn't say it was a great motion picture with fucking uh, moments of tears and laughter. I didn't say... I, I just think when they fall off roofs and when that, that whole scene where uh, fucking Larry David was uh, getting creamed at the bottom of the roof uh, it, with, with shit flying off the roof, kind of funny. I never saw a that before. A sledgehammer in the face is, is funny to me. 
Fucking Spaceballs, on the other hand, not you know one funny moment. You know what? A sledgehammer right in your now. face would be funny to me right Probably, now. I would love it right now. <laughs> it would give me some sleep. <laughs> you don't think it's funny when they put in the Spaceballs movie? Look, I really enjoyed the 80 fucking times they referenced that it was a movie. <laughs> so All right, hysterical. we get it. We get it. You're, re you're referencing the fact that you're in a movie. Ah, how about once or maybe twice you do that? The entire fucking movie, they're just constantly making we're in a movie joke. Really? It's funny. It's funny no, it's when, he goes, uh, when he goes... Uh... When uh, Michael Winslow keeps doing sound effects, and then Rick Moranis gets mad and starts punching the console because he, he keeps doing it. No, it's funny. It's funny how mad he gets. You're fucking saying Michael Winslow? No. Uh, Michael Winslow part is funny? No, I'm saying the Rick Moranis. Oh. What Rick Moranis oh. does in that part is funny. Rick Moranis is oh. funny. And, oh, boy, yogurt as Yoda. They called him yogurt. The Schwartz. I can't even say it. I'm fucking embarrassed saying it. I'm sitting here and I gotta wanna hide my head. The Schwartz. Shut up. <laughs> oh, is that awful? It's terrible. It's terrible. Stop it. You're ruining Spaceballs for I, me. They Stop ruined it. it the second don't listen, it fucking don't came listen, out. Don't listen. Oh, what a waste of fucking celluloid. Stop it. Stop it's it. Terrible. <laughs> the Schwartz. Oh, we get it. He's an over-the-top Jew. Oh, now God. Now it comes out. Now it comes no. out why you didn't like the movie. Oh, Mel Brooks stunk in that one. <laughs> oh, God. He's trying to recapture the moment from fucking Blazing Saddles with the, the mayor and the fucking governor. It's when? like the same type of character. When? The fucking guy from the... Uh, from Spaceballs, the, you the know... The president? Yeah, that guy. You think John Candy was funny in it? Barf. Oh, I get it. His name's Barf. He's half man, half dog. He's his own best friend. Oh, come on, Ian. Oh, You're fuck being too hard on that. this movie. Oh, he, look, he's, his tail is sticking out the back of the uniform. Look, and then the black oh, guys God. have an afro pick of instead of a comb. Of course they do. We it's get terrible. it. We get it. It's so bad. It's so incredibly bad that I was so pissed off that I had a, I couldn't stop watching it. That's how angry it got me. Look, I'm pissed from a movie. Yeah, I know. You're really angry. I don't like seeing you like oh, this. I hate it. I don't like when you're angry like I this you, at Joe. all. I'll tell, right. you, I'll tell you a classic, quote, classic, unquote, comedy that everybody loves that I've watched over and over and tried to think is funny, and I, I'm like, there's two parts that make me laugh, and that's oh, it. Oh, what is it? Dumb and Dumber. Oh yeah, I, I'll agree with you. I'm, over not, I'm not a big fan. And over, I want, and I love Jim Carrey. I love Jeff Daniels. Fairly Brothers, Kingpin is might be my favorite comedy ever. Mm -hmm. And and Dumb and I literally, I'm like, it's just not that fucking not funny. That funny. People talk. You. People Did talk. You see it when it first came out, or I after? saw it in the theater on opening night. And you didn't think it was funny. And my friend wow. and I walked out. My friend and I left. Not walked out of the movie. Walked like we out. watched it. And, no, I don't mean like walked out. But I mean after the movie, we left. And we went to a Denny's, and the waitress goes, "What did you guys do tonight?" And and we said we went to see Dumb and Dumber. And she goes, "Oh, how is it?" And my buddy goes, "It's exactly what you'd expect." Uh, it's a really, really weak, bad movie that mm. they made so they could have, like, five scenes where Jim Carrey's pretty funny in it. And that's oh, okay, how we yeah. looked at it. We were like, yeah, it's one of those movies where they took, like, a guy that's really funny and just, like, put this shitty movie around right. him so he could be funny in it. Like, I, I never, ever thought it was quality in any sense. Mm. And I've watched it repeatedly because over the years people have said to me, dude, it's my favorite comedy. And then I watch it and I go, it's just not that fucking funny. Mm. It's not that fun. Like, me, myself, and Irene is funnier than that movie. What? Kingpin destroys it. Kingpin kills Dumb and Dumber. It kills it. Uh, something about Mary is funnier than Dumb and Dumber. Uh, Something about Mary might be funny. Three than Stooges is dumb. Three Stooges. I'm not. I'm not fucking taking a heat. I, I didn't. I didn't give it a rousing fucking. Uh, you said it was funny. recommendation. I said it was funny. I said it was funnier than everybody said it was going to be. You said I suggest everyone go out and buy this. I it wasn't did not. And it wasn't funnier than everybody said. It was exactly what everybody no, said. I, I was imagining. <laughs> I and I wasn't even sitting there going like, oh, you know. I bet this is going to be funny. I sat there like, oh, this is going to suck. And then I found myself chuckling and ch chuckling at some parts. Yeah, there were a couple parts where I laughed, legitimately laughed out loud. But mm. th th it was so poorly made. Like, yeah. every time they showed, like, the graphic of the three of them, 
at the top of each story, where yeah. it was supposed to be the throwback to the old one. It looked so shitty and thro- it literally looked like a twelve year old made it on Photoshop. <laughs> like yeah. he just cut out Will Sasso's head and put it on this this screen. Yeah, and it, gotcha. they put so little effort into the production value. Also, I'm watching a Three Stooges movie. I don't need to hear a, a pop song that was made in twenty ten <laughs> in the fucking background as they're doing their antics. It takes me out of it. Uh, it takes me out yeah. of it. And I and I'm not I'm not willing to, I'm not unwilling to disbelieve that the studio ruined the movie because they were that fucking movie they were trying to make that for like seven years yeah and they had all those great actors attached to it and everybody kept walking there's a reason they kept walking mm. so I'm, I'm sure like the studio probably fucked it up i'm not going to disagree with you but but you know on the other hand ah, you like space balls so how can i fucking <laughs> how can i take anything you say <laughs> i'm sure there's a, something you like that stinks oh i'm sure that yeah. you i understand but the thing well, is it's not fun if you just admit to it well i, I, to fight I me on it. no <laughs> I, 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 i'm i'm not going to let people get away with this space balls thing though because and this is why there are plenty of movies that i think stink and and shit but this movie for some reason is beloved by people that when you bring up Mel Brooks movies and they start talking, you know, you start talking Young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles, um, people start going like, "Oh, how about Spaceball?" Just because they feel they're obligated to say that it's good, and it's not. It's a terrible. Mo- it's I'm not t- even not just not good. It's a terrible movie. I'm telling you why. I'm yeah. telling you why because most people saw it when they were 11 or 12. They had their Star Wars nostalgia on fucking high. I mean, dude, I saw that movie after Return of the Jedi came out when I thought I was never going to get to see anything Star Wars ever again. Mm. And then Mel Brooks makes this movie with, like, fart jokes in it that makes fun of Star Wars, and I loved it. But it, it just... If it, I saw it at your age, when you... How old were you when it came out? Look. I don't I, mean I was, it like I that. Was in, I, was, I was at an age where I should laugh at fucking juvenile comedy. I still do. The thing right. is, it's not funny. Even as a kid... It's not funny. I remember watching it in the movie theater and going like, "This, uh, I want, I wanted it to be funny. I wanted to laugh at this fucking movie." And I sat there going like, "Oh man, I'm not." And and, and like the forced laughs, you'd hear people like like ah. There wasn't any fucking explosions of laughter in the theater because it's not fucking funny. It killed when I saw it. Ugh. So we're, what, you fucking uh, a retard house? No, because so I was in there the with kids. House. I was in there house with a bunch of, of parents with their kids watching oh, it. Oh, my that's... mom didn't like it. I remember my, you were probably my mom's age when oh, it came out. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> now, yeah, my buddy is in his 40s. He's in his mid-40s. He says the same thing. He loves Mel Brooks. He goes, Spaceballs is not a good movie. He thinks that whatever movie came before Spaceballs was Mel Brooks' last good movie, was which it, was what? Um, well, there was a high anxiety. There was, um, I think it might have been, was it Men in Tights? No, that was after. That was after? All right, what do we got? Hold on. Uh, writer, director was History of the World Part 1 oh. in 81, and then Spaceballs in History Jesus. of the World Part 1, another piece of shit. What? Sorry. Oh, come on! <laughs> You're just saying that. Funnier than Spaceballs, but Aunt, that again. Is, come on, Anthony. Again. Not one of these hilarious movies. Aunt, yes, it is. Oh, God. Aunt, when's the last? Give me a little. Give me a little clip of that. Find play a the, fucking. Find a funny clip from the, History of the World, and let me see. Play the stand-up philosopher scene. All right. That's the. That's my favorite scene. Stand-up philosopher. All right. All right. Here we go. Stand-up philosopher. Huh? Oh, this isn't it. Now they're they're this, well they're they're walking they're by the this part's funny though. Uh, uh, unemployment. Gladiator. Did you kill last week? No. <laughs> Did you try to kill last week? All right, that's kind of funny. All right, I, I'm in. Now listen, this is your last week of unemployment insurance. Either you kill somebody <laughs> next week, or we're going to have to change your status. You got it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sign it. Here comes a classic line coming up right here. <laughs> next. B. Arthur. Occupation. Stand up philosopher. What? Stand up philosopher. I coalesce the vapor of human experience into a viable and logical comprehension. Oh, a bullshit artist. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bullshit last week? <laughs> All right, I'm laughing. Maybe uh, I'm willing to All say right. perhaps I was yes. in error on that one. <laughs> All right, but I did watch. I did watch uh, fucking Spaceballs. 
and it sucked ass. So I, I'm not taking that back. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Let's talk about other. Let's talk about other. I, 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 I'll let me t- uh, mention a movie. It doesn't necessarily have to be comedy, but uh, a movie that I was watching yesterday where it was a good movie and they just ruined the fucking franchise. Which, no surprises here. I mean, people remember uh, The Matrix. Uh, when I, I was watching The Fucking Matrix and the first one, right from the beginning, Trinity's badass, just killing yeah. fucking cops. <laughs> it was a good movie. And then they change it to this sentimental, faggotry fucking crap movie with all this f- f- fucking mumbo jumbo. Oh, it, with that, the rest of those stink. And it stinks more when you see how good the Matrix, the original Matrix was. Fuck the Matrix. Ooh. It can suck my fucking digital dick. Even the first one? Uh, on, I'll, 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 I'll go through the first one. I yeah. like the first one. It's just, here's what bothers me about The Matrix. As soon as that came out, everybody thought it was like, that they were like smart because they saw one Wachowski Brothers interview where they where they explained <laughs> the philosophies it was based on. Right. And every fucking nerd that <laughs> saw it was like, you know it's better than Star Wars because it was based on these philosophies. Well, so is Star Wars, douchebag. <laughs> but Lucas didn't have to jerk his cock in every fucking interview he did. There you go. Because he was too busy making a goddamn fucking enterprise uh, yeah sorry well, sorry an empire excuse me it, it just shut the fuck up it, uh... well well neo stands for christ does he does he is that why he dies like this with his arms outstretched go fuck yourselves <laughs> <laughs> we're very angry at movies yeah. uh, this morning I, I i just i like the original um, but man, though, really, you're having a rave in the cave there, a big fucking Ugh. smelly, sweaty rave. That was like the collective, huh? It's scene. stunk. What the fuck was that about? Get back to fucking, uh, the agents chasing you and shooting people. Yeah, I'm so also, glad. Yeah. I oh. never saw the, the, the two that they filmed after the Matrix. Oh, you didn't? Because everybody just told me that they were terrible. Mm. So I have this, you know, I have, I have this nice memory of the Matrix that, that so few people have. Yeah. It, it, and I have no interest bad. in seeing the other two because everybody says they're, they're complete shit. Terrible. Yeah. The second one had moments that were awesome because of the action, but the story, I didn't give a rat's ass. I was just like sitting in the theater going, I don't fucking Really? Care. The original? No, the second one. Oh, the second one. Yeah. Oh, the second one's a fucking, that one's just nothing. That could just be taken right out of the mix with the albino shitheads and fucking. Yeah, you know, I don't even know what the fuck. The, and just the, and the third one. All right. And by the way, cool action, but yeah. And by the stories. way, if you're gonna sit there and fucking go, uh, uh, listen, here's the deal. These machines, uh, they have us all connected to these machines, and uh, if you take this pill, you can realize that that the normal, like, good life we're living is not real, yeah. and then you can just be awake in this fucking rainy cave, and uh, all, and then have to worry constantly, give yourself ulcers and cancer because these machines are going to descend on us at any minute. Or you can just stay plugged into this machine; it doesn't fucking matter. What are the stakes of them pulling themselves out of the machine? The machines aren't going to end them the machines don't have a problem with their existence within this virtual reality mm-hmm. what is the problem with living in that virtual reality other than well we're being controlled yeah but the machines made it better for you do you understand that do you want to live in this fucking fucking stony apocalypse world that you're living in <laughs> i never thought of it like that joe it's ridiculous so you're saying that it's a good thing yeah. to be plugged in and and just live your virtual uh, life. When I saw the first movie, and there's that scene with John Joey Pantoliani or whatever the fuck <laughs> his name is, and Joey Pants, yeah, yeah, the Informer, yeah, and he's eating the Informer in, in every movie in he's everything. in. Yeah, he's yeah, just a terrible person. <laughs> we need a rat. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking poor man's Bruno Kirby. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, he really is. <laughs> Bruno Kirby was a poor man's Joe Pesci. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking, it just fucking, that scene where in the first one where he's eating the steak and he's yeah, got the yeah. cigar and he goes, as I eat this steak and I drink this steak, why and I smoke this cigar? Ignorance is bliss. I, yeah. Like when I was watching the movie the first time, I was like, he's right. I'm in with this guy. <laughs> like, what is he doing? He's right. He wanted to be fucking important and, uh, and it, well off and they're like, yep, yeah, all right. Yeah, here's money that doesn't exist that you can spend on things that don't exist in this virtual casino we've created for you. Yeah. Whereas in this real world, you have to buy things with rocks. No free will, though. For to do what? Who cares? (laughs) You're right. Walk around some stony apocalypse. (laughs) 
I gotta agree with you then, Joe. Yeah. That's a good one. Here's here's <laughs> here's your choice, Ant. You're plugged yeah. into a machine and it and we're in this room. Yeah. And we can leave and go maybe get laid or go get drunk or smoke a cigarette or eat a steak. Uh -huh. Or we'll unplug you and you live in Fraggle Rock. Uh, and just <laughs> and have these holes down your spine that would make me woozy, nauseous, and vomit thinking about them. I'd get all faint. I know. I'd put my finger in one and be like, eh, well, I'm woozy. Oh, you, yeah, you finally the fuck Trinity and you got a fucking. Yeah. Can, I get it, can I get a third finger in your back bolt? <laughs> Your uh. back bolt. <laughs> yeah, really. You're diddling her and fucking. You're giving her the shocker in her back. <laughs> yeah, uh, rust, some rusty pussy. Fucking. Oh, it's disgusting. I never realized that. Like one of the options to watching the movie and thinking about it was, uh, yeah. Why don't they just fucking accept it? There's not because it's your lot. Because in in Star Wars, it's like, well, there's this oppressive thing that in in our actual reality. That is going to kill us. That's going to end us. It's going to take yeah. away our freedoms, and we will be very aware of it. In that movie, it's like, but you're you're not free, but you're unaware of it. So it's like the fucking yeah. Uh, it's I don't know. There's some cliche to, to, no, to got, throw in the mix. It's too early. Yeah. I can't think of it. I got, it's hard to think of a cliche. Um, you know what? I never take calls, whoa, but whoa. uh, yeah, take. Let's go down from line one. Fuck it. Line one. one, yeah, yeah. Let's see what Mike. Mike. Yeah, what's up, boys? What's happening, man? Mike, hey. I just, I gotta know, uh, Anthony. You don't find that the scene at the in Spaceballs funny when that guy's like chest explodes and that thing comes out and starts singing? Oh, uh, the alien goof where they goofed on that and the thing comes out and starts sil singing like Michigan J Frog or something. Yeah, and what about the part where uh, they catch their stunt doubles? That shit's hilarious. I think he's being sarcastic, Ant. I hope so. <laughs> I think he is. Ah, oh, yeah. Hello, my baby. Hello, they my... They actually got John Hurt to do it, though. Oh, my God, they did. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, hey, up. guys, can, I don't want to harp on this thing you guys were talking about yesterday, where uh, you're talking about how you just people are just dying at random, where random people are just get kill, get, you're being killed off. Oh how about this one, where so you order a pizza... They is, deliver it to your house. This is why I just and don't. Just uh, fucking explodes when you open I don't it. Take fucking, uh, calls, you talking about pizza blowing up now? I know what he's getting at. <laughs> he's getting at what we talked about yesterday about the government just killing you out of nowhere, and that would be a threat. But it's like that was yesterday. That was yesterday. The caller's just supposed to call in and talk about today. Oh God! Why don't you take phone All calls? he had to do exactly. was tie it into the Matrix thing, and he might have gotten away with it. Exactly right. That's, that's not ah, even, right. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. That's not even that's what he told the screen. He was going to talk about. It, he get ah, God fucking. Well, by the way, fuck you, callers. And by the way, uh, Jimmy James and another Mike are waiting on there. I'm not taking their calls. Uh, that guy, you let... that guy, just fuck you. I was gonna, I was gonna run down the phones and make it a little more listener friendly today with some phone calls. But that fucking guy wrecked it for you guys by by trying to tie in something that happened 24 hours ago. That's seven years in in showtime. In fucking radio show time okay. yesterday. <laughs> he doesn't explain what he's talking about, first of all. No. He just, you know, yesterday, pizza blows up and... What? what? I don't Why know. Why do I try? I don't know. I don't know, Ant. Well, we were discussing. Yeah. We were discussing broke how up the momentum. fun it would be. Yeah. <laughs> how fun it would be if the government just chose to kill somebody randomly every day. Oh, in like some a, weird, fucking horrible way. Like a Hunger Games kind of thing? Exactly, Except but every day and for world. no reason. All right. I'm into that. And yeah. you don't have to kill each other. Like, there's no fighting amongst now, each other. Now, reiterating it today, it just sounds stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It made sense yesterday. We did. Now, it, who cares? Plus, it's the same time as we did it yesterday, so yeah. it's like people who just listen now are going to be like, what, are we going to talk about this every day? I hate this guy. Well, well you're going to do it all day. <laughs> you're going to do it all day. Well... Yeah. I, can we talk more about the movies? Please. I'm thoroughly enjoying That's this. That's what we were going at. I like a good nerd. movie break. <laughs> George, yes. I watched uh, Batman Forever the other day, and I could Wait, I, Batman and Robin or Batman Forever? Batman oh, Forever with okay. the Riddler and Two-Face. Uh, I've horrific. forgotten how, was how that? horribly Joel Schumacher ruined the whole franchise. Yeah, yeah. He completely fucked everything up. It's so funny when those when that mo when those two movies came out and we were we were I was still in college we were all bitching about like ruin this fucking Batman <laughs> franchise god damn it and my friend 
Aaron was the only guy familiar with Joel Schumacher, and he just goes, I don't know what anybody expected. They get this big gay guy to direct <laughs> Batman movies. <laughs> Oh, that was the one with Jim Carrey, right. I mean, and you look back now, especially with the Batmans that we have now, and you look at uh, Two-Face in The Dark Knight versus Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Face. Uh, oh. Dude, it's... it's And, dude, Batman Returns stunk. And I'm a huge Danny DeVito fan, a big hey. Michelle Pfeiffer fan. Yeah. Jimmy. And, uh... Jimmy. And uh, I, but it stunk. It's a t his Tim Burton's technically mm -hmm. the original Batman movie with uh, Keaton. Yeah, is not if you're gonna judge it by like the comic book standard, it is not very good. There's a lot of poor shit that he threw in there. <laughs> Tim Burton takes a lot of liberties. With, uh -huh. It's a good movie though. Yeah, it's not a bad movie. Batman Returns is is bad. Like like the penguins that drag the body into the water and the penguins that come out with rockets on their back. And <laughs> Terrible. The cats chew Michelle Pfeiffer's fingers and then all of a sudden she has cat power. It's like it makes Tim no Burton sense. didn't even like that movie. Oh, I am looking at Jim Carrey as the the Riddler here and just douching douching Dude, out. I watched this movie. I had no the Riddler is gay. Yeah. Like, he's a gay guy. If you watch the movie again, he's definitely he's gay. gay. Like, even before he turns into the Riddler, he's just got pictures of Bruce Wayne all over his house. He's obsessed oh, with he's him. He's obsessed. He wears a gay. glittery outfit. So that's the other thing, too. The Riddler, the Riddler is not the Joker, and neither is Two-Face. And Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey both played those characters like the Joker. Mm -hmm. They're always laughing, yeah. and it's all maniacal, yeah. and they're crazy, and it's like... Ugh. And you know it's going to yeah. be bad, because the, the movie starts with Batman getting into his Batmobile, and it has to be the cute funny movie trailer line with Alfred saying, do you want a sandwich? And Batman's first line in the movie is, as he's standing next to the Batmobile, I'll get drive through Ugh. Ah, and just like, oh, ah, this is where we're hilarious. going with this. That is hilarious. <laughs> Not hilarious. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's right there with, <laughs> let's jam the radar. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Joe. It's it. It's Jesus, it. It's Joe. It's it. Ah, Jesus Christ, Joe. Jesus Christ, Christ, Joe. Hey, ah, what the fuck are you doing, Joe? It's a classic. Ah, fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, why don't we jam the radar? Oh, uh, no, it's fucking hilarious. Let's come to desert. Jesus, Joe. Uh, <laughs> Jim uh, uh, Norton is uh, here with us. I'm enjoying this discussion because I just saw that was on the other day, the Michelle Pfeiffer. I watched part of it, and it fucking stinks, it's right? Stinks, right? Oh, yeah, terrible. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. Terrible fucking. Who, 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 who's the Ivy Lady standing in the Ivy? The plants they were showing that. Poison Ivy. Poison, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Oh, that, who that? Uh, that was that was Thurman. Uma Thurman. Uma oh. Thurman that was Batman and Robin uh. with Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. Oh God, yes, uh, Fat Alicia Silverstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <a> fat one. <laughs> But she was all fat. Right before she started feeding her baby out of her mouth. Yeah. And uh, it, uh, it's oh, just oh, fucking. Oh, it's just fucking. And terrible. that's, and that's the, like Bane is like a real villain in this new Batman. Yeah. And in Batman and Robin, he's just a doofus in a wrestling mask. Was he like they, a flunky? He, he can't talk. Oh, He's just boy. Poison Ivy's lackey. Did you like the new one? Oh, you did. I hated I did. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, he had the... That's right. At the cellar, me and Keith were fucking teamed up on DeRosa. Oh, really? For <laughs> yeah. liking uh, the new one? One of the few times I agreed with Keith. Yeah, he actually... <laughs> Joe liked it. I, we, oh. I didn't, we didn't like the new one. The I liked funniest the one. part of that tragedy was when Keith goes, Bane stunk! Bane, <laughs> Bane's Bobby Kelly! <laughs> I'm sick of Bane looking at Bobby And Jim started covering his face and doing Bane yes. Bobby <laughs> Kelly. It was so fucking Bane funny. Bane Kelly! Oh, my God. Oh. That was Man. killing me. What were you? He is fucking Bobby. <laughs> Big fatso. Yeah, I, I I didn't like it. I know you did, but I, I thought it was terrible. It bored, it bored me. It I unbelievable. The story was unbelievable. Mm. I, I mean, really that was not believable. But did you did you like? I can't remember if we talked about this. Did you like Batman Begins? Because no, I was bored. Me too. It was okay. I think the second one was a fucking ledger was masterful. It was masterful. The second one, but the first one was decent. Uh, the second one was amazing, and the third one. I hated Michael Caine in it, and I love Michael Caine. Right. But just blubbering through just the whole movie. Weepy Alfred. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I let you down. <laughs> oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> I didn't need that speech. I wasn't in that frame of Caine. Like, we knew he was going to get out of the jail. There was there was nothing <laughs> about it to keep me interested. Really? Yeah, you knew. I didn't care that he was in this dumb jail and he had to climb out. Yeah, yeah. And they're all yeah. yelling some dumb climb out chant. That was, that was, <laughs> but that was, that was an interpretation. <laughs> Well, that was an interpretation of the Lazarus Pit, which I thought was really cool. Because in the comics, uh, Rachel Ghoul is literally immortal. 
And the way he's always reborn is he has this thing called the Lazarus Pit that he goes into and he's reborn out of it. And I like the interpretation they did of that where the Lazarus Pit was this thing that he had to climb out of in order to live or whatever. Jesus and I just Christ, thought that God, was a, feel yeah. stupid. <laughs> where, where were you when the movie was playing? They ought to hire DeRosa to sit in the audience to, <laughs> and, and, and tell everybody this. <laughs> I might have respected that a bit more if I had you with me. <laughs> I, but I think it's safe to say that you probably weren't a fan of a big fan of the trilogy. It was more you were a fan of Heath Ledger's performance in the second one, and that's really what you locked on to. Because Kurt Metzger and I were talking, and Kurt goes, he goes, by movie standards, the third movie is better than the second one. It's just it's just Heath Ledger's performance is so good in the second one that everybody thinks that's a better movie. I don't even think the third one was that good, though, because the storyline for the third one was oh, the police get locked underground because he makes something blow up. That was oh, pretty was fucking stupid. Dumb. Don't walk out on the ice. That It just... You know, maybe it was well acted, but it just, I didn't care about what was happening. I right. just didn't give a that shit. That was kind of lame, that whole fucking the Joker uh, was, cops locked down there. Yeah! Joker was blown up a hospital. He fucking kills the guy's chick. Like, there was, there was a lot of very personal yeah. stuff there. But I, I, the, the, the underlying Occupy message of this movie annoyed me. It was insultingly was simple. The, yeah, we get it. The rich people are bad. We get it. But and, I. Th I thought they muddied that argument in a good way, where they made it look a little... Where they were like, no, it's not that rich people are... Like, all these people have turned on Bruce Wayne, but Bruce Wayne actually ends up being their savior. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool, that it wasn't completely one-sided. <sighs> but I also thought... It, the thing I liked about it was I think they did a lot of metaphor... Metaphorical? I don't know if that's a word. Stuff yes. with the movie... In the sense that they made it where it was like the, where the story came to a close with Batman literally saving Gotham. They put Gotham in a state where Batman had to come back and literally free them in like a prisoner sense and not just we're being held captive, captive uh, uh, figuratively, by, figuratively by, by criminals, criminals or whatever. Yeah. So I, I like that. But didn't he free them in the, in the second one, too? How many times is he going to do the same fucking uh, job for these shitty people? What's he supposed <laughs> to do? The people paint, got them is he supposed stink. to paint the water tower? <laughs> they just, He's fucking Batman. They just, He's got to save the I fucking... get it. Oh, what's what, he supposed what was to the metaphor for trash? Alfred? <laughs> He's a man doing the metaphor of a woman crying? <laughs> It drove me nuts. <laughs> hated this it. looks terrible, too. Yes. Batman and Robin? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This might be the worst three minutes of film. It, it, I'm telling you. This what is this is one? Te it looks terrible. This is the Schwarzenegger one. It looks uh, like the TV Ivy. series. Who is this? Chris this O'Donnell? Is with, and who this else? is with Bane and Clooney. George Clooney. And his and his the nipples that they put on, uh, on the, the nipple costume. costume. This yeah. is the one where costume. Mr. Freeze, which is Arnold Schwarzenegger, comes ah, out Freeze. and tells everybody to chill. That's, uh, that's, that's Bane. That's Bane. Turn that up. I gotta hear this. It's so bad. <laughs> no, he's kicking him and punching him. He doesn't even talk. He just goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He is wearing a wrestling mask. Yeah. This yeah. looks like somebody Ew. Sam would want a picture with. He has a dumb fucking, a dumb like uh, tube on the back of his hat. Hey, yeah. Pretty oh. birdie. Who's that? That's Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. They really tried to make this like the TV show version. Yeah, dude, it's so like bad. corny. It is corny. Catchphrasey. Yeah, like I can watch the Adam West movie because that's that's what it is. It's supposed to be a goof, you know? Yeah, it's. I, I love that old TV series. I love it. But this, yeah. like, the color looks fucking weird. And Something look at this. Joel Schumacher takes it over. There's a giant ice cream cone. Of There's course. There's nipples on the costumes. Nipples, fucking. I would have been oh, yeah. paid a big <laughs> muffly guy. And then <laughs> in the Val Kilmer one where he puts on his new Batman suit, there's close-ups on each part of the suit, and there's giant close-ups of his crotch and ass. <laughs> like, it's just like, there's the Batman logo, there's the mask, uh, there's okay. his dick and balls. Joe, what do you think the Batman series is missing? Pink. <laughs> Lots of pink. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. colors are kind of weirdness. Very bright. And... This is more towards the old TV show. Yeah, like. the weird shadow. Will yeah. Batman save Gotham? Look at that oh. stupid Bane hand. Bane is <laughs> stupid in this. And I love that the only two people that stayed in the series were the guy that played Gordon and the guy yeah. that played Alfred. Were the only two that were like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> I'll write it out. Yes, Mr. Freeze. Oh, chill. I don't think I ever saw this one. It's so utterly it's awesome. bad. It's you, sh you should yeah, watch it just, just to get upset. I, that's what I did last night no. with Spaceballs. <laughs>
Oh, oh there he is. Mr. Freeze. I own this because I bought the four. You know, I got you get yeah, the, the four and one. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Me. <laughs> I didn't tell you to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kicking them down the steps now. And Mr. Freeze is one of the coolest fucking villains ever. And I mean, this is an atrocity what they did to it. Coolest villains. Oh, oh man. Freeze. Oh, yeah. You should write for the fucking movie. That was an accident. <laughs> just oh. comes out of me, you know. Right oh. with the poison ivy right. blowing Just goes shit. around blowing shit. <laughs> yeah. He actually face. looks like Robin, though, in the face. Like, he actually looks like Burt Ward. Yeah. How does he keep that mask on? I don't get that. How does he keep it on with cum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is awful. All right, yeah, this is not good. I want to see a Schwarzenegger. I would think he'd be a good choice for a villain in this, but no, no he's just so stiff and dumb. Okay. Do you ever yeah, see the Terminator? <laughs> That's fucking good. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. He would have been cool if they did freeze the way Freeze is supposed to. Like Freeze is a very like, like sort of ominous, like menacing. Mm. He's very cryptic and like calculated. And he's a cool yeah. fucking villain, man. And they made him this goofball. Oh, it's so who, who, who is better than Heath Ledger? <laughs> the Joker, ah, there honestly. it is. That's Nobody. that's the Batman Nobody. fucking looking at all his parts. Though. Yeah, that might be I'm the sure best villain in a movie ass. ever. Oh, right. Like that's up there with like Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? what I mean? It's better than Darth Vader. Oh, terrible. Oh, See, God, there's his ass and his dick. <laughs> oh my God, this is so gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pulling the pants up. Oh, that man. fucking lover boy the album cover shot. Uh. I'm afraid that the condition has left me cold. These are all of his bad quotes. Huh? The Iceman coming. Huh? In this universe, there's only one absolute. Everything freezes. Oh. You are not sending me to the cooler. What oh. killed the dinosaurs? The ice age! Oh, God. The ice cold of space. Is he just winging this? Is there a I'll script or is he just. The icy tomb will plummet back to Gotham. I just wing it. Stay cool, bird boy. Freeze Chipperson. <laughs> oh. Can you be cold, Batman? We have 11 minutes to stall a bird. Batman. Freezing. I'm feeling hot. Oh, I find that unlikely. What do you say we heat things up? My passion thoughts for my bride alone. Ooh. What? Talk about you coach. Who's so that? Vivica A. Fox? Oh, oh, right, okay. Vivica. Unless the city bows to my demands, it's worth the driver here in Gotha. What? You can't even understand what he's saying. <laughs> I hate when people talk during the movie. Ah, uh -huh, that's funny. All right, everyone. Chill. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, chip blanket. Fucking home run freeze. Jesus, I'm <laughs> dust. Yeah. Designed to heat a man's blood. It doesn't work on a court hearted. Now, if you please. Cool party. Ah, uh, we have another two minutes. I know, and enough of this. I've had it with him. I know we, I'm in the minority, but I'm actually enjoying Arnold. The shitty writing isn't his fault. He's awful. Don't I like him. You like well. him as Freeze? I do, but the shitty writing oh, no. is not his fault. The punny writing is not his Look fault. At this. Look at the way they got the guy dressed in jail. Yeah, with the see that? jail stripes like oh, the old days. Did it's you see? Like a throwback to the old show, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's that's what they were trying to do. I mean, you saw the the shot of Robin literally frozen, and I, you know, it's yeah, like they were trying to make it real silly. comic booky because they were like, well, the Burton stuff was too dark. Everyone, but it was the same yeah. like storyline, so it didn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, Every time they have a fucking uh, Batman thing, it's like, oh, that was too dark, and then they go back to this, and then like, we want to take it back to dark where yeah. it was. It's just, <sighs> fucking. It, this stinks. That fucking line in Batman Returns makes me want to puke. Which one? When he, when Michelle Pfeiffer goes, you know, what is it about you, or something about like how he's Batman sexy, and he goes, uh, is it the car? Chicks dig the car. Yeah, Ugh. that's another one of those movie trailer lines. Yeah. Yeah. They oh, just movie put trailer it in. For is that Michael yeah. Keaton or is that? Yeah. That was Keaton. Yeah. That f oh, that movie sucks. It's terrible. But Batman Returns is better than either of the Joel Schumacher movies. Yeah, but that's like saying, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's like saying uh, Back to the Future 2 is definitely bad, better than Back to the Future 3. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, yeah no yeah. shit. <laughs> he, was, he was on my flight. Huh? Michael J. Fox, Fox. Fox. Oh, he was? Yeah, Did yeah. you meet him? That's well, I, I met him before. I said hello, but that was it. Is he like the nicest? He seems like the, the nicest. nicest. And he sleeps like a rock. 
I went to piss. And I was like, I wonder what it's like for Michael J. Fox to sleep out like a light and fucking not moving. Really? Yeah, he sleeps oh, he better must than love fucking sleep. Yeah, man, he sleeps better than any of us do. Fuck, he didn't wow. move for fucking four hours. I'd love to meet that guy. Does that yeah. frustrate you that he has Parkinson's and he sleeps better than oh, you? Oh, than you Dude, do on a plane. I wow. I fucking laid there wide awake with my mouthpiece in, staring. <laughs> I, there was a girl next to me in the middle seat, and I really did think, because she was asleep with her face, like, kind of facing me, and I'm like, how much trouble would I get in if I just <laughs> stood up and rubbed my dick on her lips? <laughs> like, like, how much trouble? A lot, I yeah. bet. A heap. <laughs> wow, that's uh, <laughs> you, just that you think that is great. I think everybody, every guy would think that if they saw yeah. that pretty face. So yeah, and and her mouth was open a little. <laughs> no, just kind of no lips were closed, but it was yeah. just pretty little pursy lips. You just start kissing her. Yeah, I'm <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> she freak out. Oh scream. my god. Hit you. Comic arrested on a flight. What's creepier? What would be creepier? Rubbing your dick on her lips or just slowly kissing her as she was asleep? I don't know what would be creepier. Than She'd probably freak out about the dick more. The slowly kissing. Is is probably creepier, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Freak out about the, yeah. the dick can be interpreted as a joke, <laughs> but the kissing is really sick. I was goofing. <laughs> it yeah. was a goof. <laughs> I rubbed my yam bag on her lips. <laughs> she was asking for it. <laughs> Do you think Val was a bad Batman? Uh, you know, it's it's like you were saying about Schwarzenegger. Val Kimmer's a good actor, so it can only get as good as the writing, you know yeah. what I mean, or as bad as the you know what I mean? So it's like, he did the best he could with everything. I thought he was a decent Bruce Wayne, but it was still just so shittily fucking written that it's like hard to get around. Christian Bale's a great Bruce Wayne. He's just a yeah. shit Batman. I think he's a good Batman. <laughs> Terrible voice. A little you kid you voice. Don't like, you don't like the voice. For people of Gotham need closure. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that dumb, oh, that's right, we don't know it's you, because your voice is gravelly. Because he talks like this. Yeah. Hey, where is she? <laughs> Come on. That stinks. But he's great like as that. Bruce Wayne. He's a great actor. He's a great I, Bruce I don't like Wayne. that dumb choice he's made to make the voice. Do you think it was him? Of course. Yeah? Oh, God, yeah. Huh. It is an extreme choice. I thought Keaton did a good job at the voice where it, he sounded different enough. I don't remember. How did he sound as Batman? I don't remember. He just kind of sounded like Michael Keaton, just a little gravelly, and he dropped his voice down a little. He did what Christian yeah. Bale does, but he did it way... Like ten degrees Better less. Than, uh, yeah. So you were like, all right, if nobody knew who he was, or he only talked to him once, you wouldn't think, oh, that's, you know, that's. But well, that Wayne. whole concept, of course, it's been done a thousand times, but it's ridiculous to even think like that. You'd have to disguise the voice because you wouldn't be able to notice that it's the fucking mouth. Even like the girls that are interested in in Bruce Wayne. They see Batman and start talking to him, and they don't realize, like, the mouth is the same fucking mouth. <laughs> Eyes are the same. Right. So, fuck, why change the voice around then? Why have him talk like this? I'm mysterious. Is that, oh, let's hear what he sounds like as uh, what Michael Keaton did with it. Don't kill me, man! This is Michael Keaton me. versus Christian Bale. Me, oh. I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. The first awesome. Huh? I hated that moment in that movie. Why? That weak moment. That weak pause, Travis. That was in the trailer, I think. I'm of course. Bat I'm Batman. No, oh, that's I'm the best part Batman. of the movie. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I hated the way he delivered Who that. Who are you? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. No. <laughs> that kind of I big, have a uh, string of Batmobiles. <laughs> I'm Batman. No. <laughs> I hate, I've always hated that. I'm Batman. That got a huge <laughs> cheer when I was in the theater when I was a kid and I saw oh, it. God, you and the dumb fucking people you went to the movies with. Exactly. Spaceballs. Can we hear that line again? They're roaring at the fucking hilarious jokes in Spaceballs. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that. It's terrible. <laughs> Don't kill me! Don't kill me, man! I'm not going to kill you. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to tell all your friends about me. What are you? I'm Batman. That part's awesome! awesome. Yeah, yeah, I'm Batman. Awesome. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> Fucking meek voice. And away we go. No. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? No, just Christian Bale. Christian Bale. It's the same line. It's a, it's a throwback to yeah. it. Ew. That was actually better. You liked that one yeah. better? Yeah. I don't like his lip the way he does it. Elvis with the No, he did oh, kind of. He did do a weird thing with his mouth. He curls there. his lip up. I'm Batman. 
Ew, I'll bite my hand. The top lip always lifts oh. up. He made the he made the uh, Sam taking a picture mouth. He's doing that so <laughs> he's doing that so his lips look different when he talks, which you know he's just doing a better acting job. I just don't like it. <clears throat> I'm Batman. That's stupid. Watch his dumb lip whenever he does Batman. <laughs> we have to the jewelers are gonna get us again. <laughs> his fucking dumb lips. His dumb lip. That bugs me. You don't like that, huh? No, I don't. <laughs> you shouldn't either. No, I don't. I wouldn't. I remember when we heard that Michael Keaton was gonna be Batman, everybody was like, Is it gonna be a comedy? Like yeah. I don't understand. Like nobody like it was so confusing. He to everybody. was the funny guy. He pulled it off. That's though. all he did he it was, was funny movies. He's good. Yeah. He's, he's probably he's a great second, actor. Second to Christian Bale, as far as Batman. That's, a, that's a rough thing to do. Like, I would put him from, on par. Yeah, yeah. I would put him on par. He just was in, yeah. un unfortunately, worse Batman movies. That's a hard thing to do. Uh, to go from like being a comedy guy to serious role guy. It is. And uh, oh, Jimmy. <laughs> but uh, he pulled it off, I think. And then he just disappeared. And he just dropped off the face of the earth. Some guys pull it off, yeah. and some guys don't, Ant, is what I find. Oh. Is that some guys can make that transition. Right. Whereas other men... Others? Cannot. Cannot. <laughs> he didn't uh, have to go back to comedy after that, though, because that's when he did Multiplicity and stuff like that. Ooh. Well, I like I liked Multiplicity. What? You don't like <laughs> Dumb and Dumber, but you like Multiplicity. You think Multiplicity is a better movie than yeah, Dumb and Dumber? I think Michael Keaton's really funny in it. I think he's, he's funny in it. Multiplicity is better. Just say Multiplicity is better than Dumb and Dumber. Makes me laugh more than Dumb and Dumber. Oh, Makes yeah. me laugh more. Fuck so Dumb and Dumber. Up. You big No, Jack fuck Frost Multiplicity. Jack Frost. <laughs> You like when you like when Michael Keaton goes, I like pizza because he's the fifth copy, so he's not as good. No, but I do like when he goes. I like when he goes uh, when the doctor goes. What do you do for for in your leisure to relax? And he goes, oh, I like to golf, and I get to do that. Let's see, uh, about never gonna have to cut back on that. <laughs> it's funny, man. Michael Keaton's funny. Eh? He makes me Michael laugh. Michael Keaton's uh, funny. Guy. He was always very good at. Uh, it's not Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom was fucking funny, right? I love Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom. What are you gonna sure. do in here? 220, 222, whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever it takes. <laughs> uh, Those movies you, want aren't you want a beer? It's 6 in the morning. Scotch? <laughs> Fucking great. Fucking great. <laughs> no Michael Keaton movie is as good as Dumb and Dumber. Shut uh, your face. Beetlejuice is better than Dumb and Dumber. Oh, hey, huh? no, all right. Maybe Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice beyond destroys Beetlejuice. Dumb and Dumber. Beyond Beetlejuice, no other Michael Keaton movie. <laughs> Fucking gun ho! <laughs> You're laughing. It's Fucking funny. Travis is watching the multiple pizza. Pizza. I like pizza. <laughs> the pizza line. I like pizza. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. It's funny. Eugene what Levy's fucking hilarious in this movie. Let's see what happens here. Turn that up. All right. <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> we see he's the he's the fifth copy. Yeah. Get a cage. He says, get a cage about a retard. A copy of a copy. Come on, it's of fucking copy hilarious. Right? Much worse. Yeah. 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 It's no Spaceballs. No. But, uh, Spaceballs is better. Spaceballs is so utterly bad. I, 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 I'm kind of bummed that Jimmy never saw it, because yeah. I would love to watch him just say how fucking horrible yeah, I it is. I wouldn't like it. It's, you wouldn't not just not like it. It's infuriatingly is that Mel, bad. Mel Brooks? Yeah. yeah. It's not infuriatingly it's bad. It's infuriatingly bad, because everyone says it's good. It's not what's good. Not, what's not? What's so about bad? It? The jokes are so bad, over the top delivery of them. Like, like, all right, we don't need it rubbed in our Is face. Is that what the Schwartz be with you? First? Yes. <laughs> uh, who, who ever <laughs> laughed at that line? Uh, apparently, a bunch of people think it's hilarious. Let the Schwartz be with you. And it was delivered by uh, the character Yogurt. See, his name was Yogurt right, instead right. of Yoda. Look, that type of comedy was playing out. That I'm not saying it's the man's strongest work. I'm saying I can't convey how bad it is. I think there through are normal certain, speech. There's Stop certain it. parts like Yogurt and the Schwartz that aren't funny, but overall, it's way funnier than not funny. No! Same. You're a crazy person. It's funny when he's talking about the doctor that's <laughs> fucking his. When nurse, he's playing with his dolls. And he goes, go back to the golf course funny. and work on your putts. I that saw, part's funny. No. Yes, it is. You just laughed at it. <laughs> la no, I was laughing at Travis fucking telling me the part where he's playing with his dolls was funny. Yes. Not funny. Can I make a suggestion? I think we know what the next Secret Show movie show I think that's needs true. To be. It needs to be Spaceballs. Oh. The funniest yes. moments of Spaceballs is a 10-minute clip. And that's just, that's the maximum yeah. that they'll allow. No, it's not. Oh, the cross-eyed so guy? Yeah. It's not funny.
Bill <laughs> Pullman, 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 Pullman from Pullman. fucking Independence Pullman. Day. Sanders, this is on? our it's Mega Independence Day. Uh, that movie stinks. Oh, blow. terrible. Yes, Let's does. nuke the bastards. Uh, uh, it's terrible. Uh, yeah. Get on the horn. Let everyone know how to take down these sons uh, of bitches. Uh, you die, there is that part where Randy Quaid flies his plane uh, into them. When I saw that in the movies, the audience started applauding, and I literally had douche chills. I was like, am I the only fucking person with a brain in this whole goddamn theater right That's now? That's how I feel fucking watching Spaceballs. <laughs> you didn't like when he said, uh, let's do... let's what you are about to be. Tell everyone how to take down these sons of bitches. Oh, it's so bad. And then Judd Hirsch, Judd Hirsch basically doing the oh, yogurt he's, he's voice. the yogurt character. <laughs> ah! May the Schwartz be with you. You're my son, and you're brilliant, but you're an ass. David, oh my God. David, my son, David. Oh, oh my God. He said to all, my son, David. Right. I've never saw. I'll watch this though. No, you won't. The little, the it's little funny. shrimpy funny. Darth Vader with the big helmet does make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like that, the fucking helmet clanking when he falls and his head goes into the fucking thing and the thing close on his back. <laughs> that made me laugh. You know, I, Jim describing it is funny. It's funnier than watching it. Like Jim saying when he, the little Darth Vader guy bashes his head into something. See, that's funny. Yeah, I like a, a certain slapstick like that with a clanging metal is funny. It's funny. I yeah. enjoy it. It's like when, when a stooge would smash each other. With a wrench, it always make me laugh. Oh God, Ain't you're the wrong. The funniest stooge thing. Wrong. The funniest stooge thing I ever saw because it was so fucking. It was so fucking. Should I not be talking over this? No, or? it's no, not. It's funny. Funny. It was yeah. so morbidly fucking like sadistic. Is uh, Moe's on his hands and knees and Shemp. He they're like Shemp sitting at a desk and Moe's on his hands and knees looking under the desk for something, and Shemp opens the drawer, and Mo stands up and bangs his head on the drawer, <laughs> and he goes, "Ah, you think that's funny?" And he takes Shemp's hand and he puts it in the drawer and just starts slamming, slamming. the drawer repeatedly. <laughs> it's like it's sadistic. It's like Hilarious. so crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know how bad that would hurt. I know it makes me laugh so fucking Shemp hard. Is my, I love Shemp more than Curly. He loves me too. Laugh. Shemp, I funny, prefer man. Shemp. Me too. Such a dumpy man. Yeah. And just to see a dumpy man. I forget what they were doing, but they were doing like window washing. Of course. And it was like a broom or something. And uh, Shemp's on top of a ladder and Moe is below him. And he just takes the broom and he, he jams like the big bristle end up into Shemp's face. And it just made me really <laughs> What a mean thing to do to a guy. <laughs> Jam a piece of wood into his face. <laughs> you ever see, you ever see uh, the one where uh, the bathroom's flooded? Classic <laughs> Shemp. The bathroom's flooded. He's got to get the water out of the bathroom. He takes out a drill, and he starts drilling holes in the floor to get the water out. And he goes, now I'm using the old noggin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God, stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh.